The first port of call of the Nigeria Customs team was at the palace of the Alake and Paramount Dula of Egba Land, Oba Adedotun Aremu Badebo, where the controller of the Federal Operation Unit, Zone A, Kola Oladiji, explained that there is the need for an active involvement of traditional rulers in the war against border crimes. The team thereafter moved to Ipokia, a border town, after a diroko for a conversation with the Onipokia and monarchs of various communities promising the readiness of Nigeria Customs Service to play by the rules of engagement. Uh, I believe that I need royal blessings. Seek for their support in discharging our mandates, the core mandates, and at the same time promising that we shall continue to discharge our responsibilities within the ambit of the law. And the traditional rulers, including Onipokia of Ipokia, Oba Adelakun Olaniyo, and Olu of Owodeyewa, Oba Michael Akindele promised their total support for the federal government. Promising them strength. Look, um, we have been doing that for a long time. Part of what I said earlier is we need to start having meetings. Meet with them. They, say, they will save their mind. We will tell them what we're feeling. And then we'll work from there. So uh, we're working together. We have to work together. That's the bottom line. And it's a visit of new relationship uh, with them. So we really appreciate the government for the good uh, job they have been doing. The customs... Controller Federal Operation Unit Zone A assures that innocent citizens will not lose their lives in the process of customs war against transborder crimes in Abelkuta, Yemi Dalimo. NTA News.